Two, one. What is going on, everybody? We're back, and this time I am making the highest overall rated draft. Uh, first, we need a coach. I don't. We see a three, four. I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna go with the Texans. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with the Texans. Texans offense. Uh, we're gonna go with the highest rated draft. We're gonna try to get our overall the highest it can be. That doesn't mean we're gonna pick the highest overall rated player, but we're gonna try to get our team to the best overall. And Raheem Moore is gonna help us out with that. I know he's not necessarily like the best stats. Like, this Mike Neal's phenomenal, so it was a Chris Canty. But we're going to go for the highest overall team. And I've seen some 86s. I don't know if anyone's hitting 88 yet. I might have seen maybe an 87 here or there. We got Trey Mason. To be honest, I'll take him out of running back. He's actually really solid. The Sullivan or the Jermaine Gresham isn't all that good. Uh, you know what? You know, let's take Sullivan. We'll wait on Trey Mason. We might get a better running back. We'll, we'll do that. We'll take Sullivan. I don't really like the tight end, honestly. Um... And just as I pick a center, we got a guy like Mangold. We get Andre Woodworth and DeAndre Hopkins. I'm probably going to Mangold and just keep beefing up the O-line right now. Uh, I don't like DeAndre Hopkins enough. I'll just move Sullivan to a guard. I don't think that's going to be a huge deal. I'll probably take over Tomlinson. Uh, let's see here. And here we go. Now we're getting a chance to beef up this defense. Uh, Eddie Royal is a solid wide receiver. Derek Johnson solid. But I'm going to go with Hawaii Kakwa. I think that's how you, I don't even know how to say his name. I probably effed it up somewhere. But... At 87 overall, we need a linebacker. Solid. Keep growing this uh, team. Hopefully, we get a legend here or there. But right now, we're not getting anything. Derek Morgan's not bad. Morgan Burnett's not bad. He might help out this overall. But I think we're going to get a good, strong safety. I just got a feeling in that. Sylvester, Sylvester Williams isn't terrible. He's not terrible. No, we'll go with him. We'll go with Sylvester Williams. We'll snag him. I know he's the lowest one there, but we got a good round here. All elites. Pat, Pete, Rashad Jones. There's that better, strong safety I was talking about. Pat Pete would not be terrible at all. But but I said I was feeling a good strong safety. Let's get him. I'm, I'm actually feeling a good corner. I think we're going to get a good draft. More elites like this and we get one again. And we get some quarterbacks and Julio Jones. We get a chance to use Brock Osweiler. He's not terrible. Teddy B. Uh, Teddy Two Gloves. Or Julio. We're going to snag Julio Jones here. Definitely going to get an elite wide receiver. It's not terrible. But here we come back with a goal round. But we have a chance to get the uh, the defense better. De uh, Dante Fowler. 84 overall campus hero. I will for sure, take that uh, on the D line. Not bad, not a bad pass rusher at all. We we'll almost just crossed the halfway point of the draft. Come on, give me some good now. And Lane Johnson could help. Uh, Fred Davis, I don't really want him as a tight end. We get Lane Johnson, not terrible. Our overall's not climbing. I need more elites. I need like I need a flashback, and we get another elite offensive lineman. But we can get a defensive tackle here, which wouldn't be bad. An 88 overall defensive tackle. I think that'll help us out for sure. And we get Darius, and we get another elite round right back. And we get another center. What's up with all these centers? We have a chance to get a good tight end. Uh, Wa Walford? Eh. Brandon Marshall's pretty freaking good. He's probably a better tight end, honestly, than that Walford. I'm going to go with Brandon Marshall. I'm looking at these guys. They don't really affect the overall that much. Let's go with B. Marsh. We're at 81 now. And we get another elite. Oh, my God. We just get a UL Dawson 99 out of freaking nowhere. You can't say no to that. You can't say no to a 99. Well, we'll move this team around, but I'll take a freaking 99 for sure. Oh, you can't say no to Devontae. I probably botched that name up. But we can get Ninkovich, who's actually pretty solid. Briggs is eh. I'm going to grab Ninkovich here for the D-line. Now we got a pretty solid D-line. We get another elite round, and it's not all that great. Uh, we have a chance to get the O-line a little bit better. To be honest, both our guards are most likely going to be taken with the amount of centers we have. Devontae David just would not be bad at all. We only got one linebacker, but... Let's beef up that O-line, and we need a quarterback. This draft did not go well. We got so many offensive linemen. And the legend round? Oh, we got Herm. We got Dickerson. I'm probably going to have to go Dickerson here. It was not a studded round. An 82. I could definitely do better than that. I think I'm just going to reload a draft, and I'll be right back. I think I could beat this. I think we're, what, an 82 right here? Let's see what we get with Dickerson. We got an 83. That's atrocious. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back with number two. And it looks like another chance of getting Texans. But honestly, Texans was not the right mojo. I, I'm a 3-4 type of dude. So we're going to go with Harbaugh and the Ravens offense. It's actually not a bad playbook. But we got to beat what we did last time. Last time we got some garbage. It was like an 83 overall. I think we could beat that. We need some more elites. And starting out of the gate, we got a chance at Mewhart. This is like my backup account. It's like my uh, farming account that I never used. Mewhart's not bad. It's 86 overall. We'll snag it. Jump boosts up our overall. I want to get it. Really good draft, but okay, here we go. We get Gunther, Kerrigan. I think I want to get Kerrigan. I know this guy matched my play style, but honestly, coach, this actually drops our overall. Yeah, we're going to go with Kerrigan. All right, we got to keep boosting up. We're at a 77 now. Keep moving. We get into the legend round. I mean, the elite round. Oh, we got a good-ass center. 
Like, I know... I know we should probably go with the wide receiver, but 92 overall center. It's the highest overall by five points. Let's grab it. And we go to an 80, a 78. I'll take that. And we get another elite round. There we go. That's the time to get a wide receiver, Muhammad Sanu. Well, Delaney Walker's there, and so is Ben Jones. But Mover Sanu, 93 overall. We didn't climb up in an overall there, but we get another elite round. Oh, man, we get another wide receiver. I want to go with Santonio Holmes. This guy's got 97 speed. Dude's a burner. Dude's a straight-up burner with 98 spec. We'll grab that. And we're at 79. All right, we're definitely doing a lot better than we did last time. Uh, no elite this time. We'll probably go Brandon Albert. I don't want to get a quarterback here. Uh, no, no Sean Moreno. No, thank you. We'll get Albert. Just keep keep boosting up the overall there a little bit. Ayu Potty, we don't need him. I think this is where we can go look at the defense. It's either Ratliff or Jenkins, honestly, in my opinion. We can go with either one. I think Janoris Jenkins is the better fit. Uh, it would, no, because actually the left end's a 73. That's a bigger difference. Yeah, we'll go with him. And we get to an 80, so we're, we're climbing. We get another elite round. Oh, we get flashback Carlos Rogers. Morgan Brunette final edition. And Shea McClellan. So McClellan, we're at 74. That would boost it pretty good. I'm going to go with Carlos Rogers. Get that flashback in here. Doesn't boost up the OVR, but we get another elite round. Oh my gosh, we get Hudson left guard. Didn't realize he had a left guard card. Ronnie freaking Hillman and MJD. MJD, son. Oh, we got to go MJD. I know the Hudson, we don't need an offensive line, but we get MJD from Madden NFL Live. That's what's up. And we're at 81 overall, okay? And another elite round. Dang, I wish we could just use all these offensive linemen, honestly. Wide receiver won't do anything. I think we should grab Russell Wilson right now. I think that's a good pick. 86 overall, round 10. We need a quarterback. We'll jump us up to an 82 overall. I'll take it. it looks like we're going to beat last round's draft. No doubt. We get another quarterback, another offensive line piece we don't need. I think we can grab Batonio, maybe throw him somewhere else. Just doesn't look like anything we do is going to help out the overall here. It's a kind of a crappy round. I thought we did good drafting so far, but we actually go to an 83. So we're tied, and we get a chance to keep beef in the safety. That's what I'm talking about. Dante Hightower or Jerry's Bird. I'm going to go with Hightower. I love him. He's 87 overall. Why not? And we're in 84. Let's go. Another elite round. We get Paella. Ooh. Malik Jackson will easily get us to an 84. Or keep us there. I don't know if I want to get Paella. I think we go Malik Jackson. Let's do it. There we go. Okay. Okay. Another elite. Second to last round. We get a chance at a corner. I already got a left end. I don't need him. I think I'm going to snag the corner. I think it's a good move. We'll have two really good corners. Let's just do it. We stay in 84, but who's going to be the legend round? Damn, and they're all offensive players. I can live with it. I mean, we're obviously going to have to go with McNabb, but I'll take an 85. I definitely want to get an 86. I think we, if we did it one more time, I think we can get an 86. I'm going to hop on to one more account. One more account and try to beat an 85. I mean, we, so far we got an 83. We got an 85. We're only getting better. And it was just the defense was lacking. We didn't get enough defensive players that were good. But we'll be back for the third draft. All right, we're back with the third and final draft. I got a third account. Um, I don't really use it, but let's go with let's go with Arizona. Arizona, I got a feel. I got a vibe from. I, yeah, let's just do it. That's probably one of the better playbooks I like anyway. I don't think I'm going to play with this team. But still, got an 83 in the first draft, an 85. We're just due to get like an 87. And we get Ballmer back in the first round. I mean, there's not a lot of good right tackles. That's the thing. I think we'll get another good center. I think that's why I'm going to go with Ballmer. I'm starting to get, like, the, you know, the smarts about this this draft. We I think we should have two overall, and we get an elite, all-elite round. Damn! We got a 93 overall left guard! And he matches our chem. I mean, it would be cool to have Travis Benjamin, but 93 overall left guard. O-line, Beef City already. Didn't jump the overall, and we get another elite round. That's what we need. We get a right guard. I don't know if the O-line really does anything. Seriously. I don't know if it boosts it as much as I think it does. But I keep, I just keep picking it. Like, Jonathan Hangins looks like solid. He would really help out this team. But we get another offensive lineman that's like an 89, 89, and a 93. Anyway, there we go. At least we went up there. But we get another elite round, round four. Damn. Okay, we could have like all like insane O-line. I think that's what we're going to go with right now. Let's just beef it out. I like it. And hopefully as we get other position players, it just jumps. Right here, I think we're going to go with Sam Shields. It'd be nice to actually get the Akeem Ayers, but I think we'll get a better linebacker. Uh, we'll just go with the highest overall. We'll go with him. And yeah, we're at 78. We just need more elite rounds. We need more elite players. Perfect. Perfect. I said I'd get a better linebacker, and I get it right there. Julius Peppers. Wrote to the playoff edition. All right, we're not on great pace last time, but this is going to help. And we get the center we need. Do we take the center? 
or do we go with that linebacker? I, but this could fill out the O line. It really could, and it's a 91 overall card. It's not like we're slouching at all. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. All right, we got a whole 90 O line now. We get another elite round. We just, you've got to be, you got to be kidding me. Did they just drop a PH Richie Incognito on me. Are they serious? Are they serious? Whatever. We're gonna go with Devonte Parker. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! They just drop a 98 on me like that. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. I think we can go with the tight end here. I mean, we already got a left outside linebacker, so it doesn't make sense to go with another one. Tight end would be good. I don't think we're going to get any other great tight ends. Just as I said, we might get a good one, but... The Anthony Thomas ain't the running back. We're at an 81. Decent pace. We're going to need to really pick it up. Offensive, and we just get another tight... you got to be kidding me. I think they know I'm trying to get a really good drive. We can boost ourselves up to an 81 here. Either way, let's just get Witten. Screw it. We're an 81 now. And an all elite round is what I needed. And we get Cam freaking Chancellor. Oh, man. We can get a Z uh, Zeke Ansa, But let's go with Cam. Why not Super Cam? We're still at an 81, but an all elite round in round 12 is going to help out. And they're all O linemen. Why does this game do this to me? Like, for real. Why do you do this to me? You know I'm trying to set records here with drafts. And I don't think I could do it with this. I I'm just going to go with Antoine Bethea. I got to just go with Antoine Bethea. I, I just, it, that, that's so, that's so mean. Just as I finish, like, my insane O-line, they drop it incognito. Then they drop, after I pick a, a, a tight end, they give me another tight end. At least we get Scott here to get us to an 82, but we're going to need to do something big here. All elite round, offensive line, what else is new? What else is new? I don't, at this point, I'm not even surprised. I think we'll go with uh, Jarrell Casey. Gets us to an 83 last round, come on. Got to beat an 83. We get free safety Sean Taylor. That's actually a good legend round. I can't, I can't really be too mad about that. For drafts, though, this wasn't good. Guys, we ended with an 84. Comment down below which one was your guys' favorite draft. Like, which one would you actually use? Um, one, two, or three. One being the first one, two being the second, and then three being this last one. And comment down below other some suggestions you guys want me to do for other drafts in the future. And I'll actually play some games out. Or if you guys like me just drafting, I'll just draft again three, two, three different drafts. Let me know down below, and I'll see you guys next time.